Sometimes what drives the topic choices are what questions are showing up in the comments section. So I thought I'd take a quick bit to just tackle one of them here. What is the best milkweed? Well, perhaps you noticed that in the title of the video and in the thumbnail, I put the word best in quotation marks. And that's because without actually defining what best means, well, the question is subjective and it doesn't have an objective answer. It's like trying to debate which Black Sabbath album is the best. You can have your opinion, but it doesn't mean you're going to be able to convince somebody else. And they're all awesome. So what's the best milkweed? I don't know. It depends upon what you want to use it for. Food for your caterpillars? Attracting monarchs and other butterflies to your garden? Other pollinators? Trying to encourage monarchs to lay eggs on your milkweed? The hardiness of the plant itself and how well it's going to do in your yard? These are all factors that could weigh into somebody's decision on what the best milkweed is. It's not really something I can answer for you, but I can help you guide through what I think about when I choose what milkweed I want. And let's be fully honest here, uh, it's more like the milkweed chose me. I work with Asclepius syriaca, common milkweed, and it's here in Michigan, all around me. So convenience definitely was a factor here, but it's got a lot of other good things going for it too. I'm not saying you need to use Asclepius syriaca, but I am going to show you what I think the benefits are for my purposes. It'll hopefully give you some things to consider when you decide what you need your milkweed to be able to do for your purposes. Or so I hope. For starters, as already mentioned, Asclepius syriaca was already in Michigan. It's already native to my region. But even if I couldn't just, you know, walk down the street and find some common milkweed in the nearby parking lot, if I was still trying to do some research as to what's a better choice for me and I wanted to see what milkweed's in my region, this can give me some benefit. I know that any of those species that are already native to where I live, they're already, evolutionarily speaking, ready to go. They fit right into the ecosystem. If they spread, and they will, if they spread, they're not going to outcompete something that's already part of your ecology. And really, I think, too, uh, a strong benefit to having plants from your local region is that if you're into this for a few years, you're going to be producing seed pods. And you're going to have a lot of seeds on your hands, and this can be very helpful for getting others into it. You can be an ambassador to help others plant milkweed. Hey, just one aspect to consider when you're making your choice. Let's keep going. All right, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the most obvious reason why I enjoy Asclepius syriaca, and that is the leaf size. Take a closer look. Voila. I mean, if it was 1992, I'd be saying, you, you can't front on that. I'm gonna still say it, you can't front on this. Look at that leaf size. Here's a dollar, just to show you in perspective how large that leaf really is. And so this, you know, may very well be why I don't have too many food concerns as far as running short, because there is plenty of this in my area. So I admit, I'm, I'm plenty fortunate to uh, have access to Asclepia syriaca, to common milkweed for the leaf size. But yeah, no doubt, food is not really that big of a concern for me. A great benefit to common milkweed. If common milkweed's not native to your area, well, you know, consider what leaf sizes there are of the plants that are in your area, and that might help you decide and choose what's right for you. Now, I've let the lawn go a little bit here because I wanted to show these shoots coming up. And we've talked a little bit about the, the milkweed shoots before. When it comes to Asclepius syriaca, common milkweed, they have rhizomes, which are like underground kind of root runners that are below the surface and new shoots will sprout up. This is another different way that the plant, other than seeds, reproduces. So this is one reason why some people don't like common milkweed, because it's going to spread and it could, you know, start to try to take over a yard. But I think that this is actually a benefit, at least for me in Michigan and with what I do. The reason being, well, for starters, these things are pretty easy to pull out of the ground for Asclepia syriaca. Let me show you what I mean. It's kind of letting the lawn go too, just because it's been kind of hot and I didn't want to scorch it and cook it too much, but anyway, so here's a shoot that has sprouted up, and when when it's about time to mow the lawn, I'm checking them for eggs anyway, but I can also just pull them out and just a straight thrust upward, and you've got most of the plant there. Now, certainly the rhizome that's wherever it is running underneath the ground here, that's still there and other shoots might sprout up, but this is a benefit because now I can actually have an expendable food source from this. Kind of laying down here, hope you can see me. I had another video on um, milkweed categories this year, 
and just talking about how I don't really use my home milkweed too much for food, maybe in a pinch, but for the most part I go out and find it in nature for the food I'm giving my caterpillars. But when it comes to these shoots though, hey, these are just going to get mowed down anyway by me, so I pull them out and now I can do a little paper towel wrap right over here and just put this in with plenty of, uh, you know, third, fourth, fifth instar caterpillars, things that I won't lose in the tucks and crannies, and this can be their food source. Cool, huh? Okay, now another major benefit to these shoots. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but when it comes to where females lay eggs, the females, it seems, tend to go for a younger plant, and there's some different ideas as to why that is true. When it comes to shoots that are in your yard, hey, when it comes to my yard, they're usually all by themselves, like you see here. There isn't a large cluster of them, necessarily. And monarchs, when they have a, like, a dense amount of milkweed, they really only have access to what's on the perimeter, what's maybe on the top, when it comes to leaves like way deep inside of a milkweed patch, they're probably not going to have any eggs on them. So when you have like a plant all by itself out here, the monarch has easy access to it. So that's one already benefit. I seem to get more eggs when it comes to looking for eggs on backyard plants. I'm finding more on these young shoots. Now some other good reasons too for why females tend to prefer this. I've heard some good ideas out there. I don't know how confirmed these are, but uh, one possibility. Because this is a nice fresh sprout, not like an adult large stalk, the leaves are more tender, so it's going to be easier for young caterpillars to be able to munch through and feast upon. But in addition to that, I also heard that when it comes to things like the milkweed beetle, they live inside of the, uh, the ground as larva, but also inside of the actual plant itself. And those, those beetles, they will eat an egg if they come upon it. It's a dose of protein. So a fresh sprout like this, a fresh shoot that has gone up, is less likely to have any of those kinds of pests that could gobble up an egg. And that might just be an added benefit if a female has the instinct to lay on freshly sprouted shoots. There's less likely a chance of some of those predators, some of those pests being there. So again, I don't know if that's confirmed, but it could be a combination of tender leaves and the idea of lack of pests and predators. It, uh, it could be that there's more access to them, they're just easier to find for the females. It could be a combination of all of those or even some other variables that I don't know of. But I do know I find a lot of eggs usually on these shoots. Another strong benefit, I think, to Asclepius syriaca. Let's, in fact, do a quick little impromptu egg hunt of these little shoots around here. I haven't checked to see if there's any eggs or not, but we'll see what we get. Here we go. So here's the one we just pulled. Let's see. Any eggs? Okay. No eggs on, no eggs on this one. But... Let's keep checking. All right, on the two I just pulled, I'm checking, and uh, nope, no eggs. But again, this is going to be then great for food. Just wrap some paper towel around the bottoms here, and the monarchs can munch all on this. Let's check these two. Mm, no? Nothing. Striking out so far. Well, there's a surprise. Not an egg. Got a little guy here on this one. Mm hmm what saith you? We got an egg. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what I'm talking about. There's a milkweed beetle. Now, again, just because it's a new shoot doesn't mean there won't be any chance of them. This guy probably landed, but he didn't probably pop out of this system here. They need the plants, too, the milkweed plants, so I don't really harm them, live and let live, I say. But I try to, oh, I try to uh, get the eggs off of them before those guys could gobble them. However... He was on a plant that also has a little caterpillar here on it. Mm-hmm. Yay. Tiny little guy. Ooh, and we got an egg. Boom. Oh, yeah. And I think this, this one lays testament to that I have let the lawn uh, go on mode for a while to try to help it recover from the heat stroke it was having. Come here, milkweed beetles. You can go find another plant. Oh, and there's an egg on this one. These guys, by the way, I say this in another video, but these guys, they, they hiss. They squeak. They squeak in a cool way. So pick them up, put them by your ear, and they, they squeak. It's adorable. Even when the shoots get large, they're still pretty easy to pull out. Yeah, right there. This one here is just barely away from the rest of my patch. And I already see it's got an egg on it. It's got an egg right there. Voila. So here's the haul. Food, seven eggs, and two caterpillars. So yeah, I, I think that this is a benefit of common milkweed. Um, I could, let me get down here. Um, common milkweed does this. 
Now I'm in Michigan, swamp milkweed is around here too, and I know that some people swear by swamp milkweed and they love it. Cool, keep rocking out. For me though, I, I think that this is a benefit to Asclepias syriaca, and swamp milkweed does not do this. So leaf size, and that there are shoots that spread like this, that sells it for me, I, I go with common milkweed. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of the sun and wrap some things up. <laughs> Literally. Because <laughs> I'm gonna wrap them up with a uh, paper towel. And, and put water there. I like those jokes, whatever. Well, there you go. There's my reasons, my considerations for why I think Asclepias syriaca, common milkweed, is the best milkweed for this guy. And hopefully this can give you some food for thought when you're thinking about what choices you want to make for milkweed that you're going to be planting or if you're thinking about changing it up. And hey, I hope you understand, sometimes even very simple questions can have a more complex answer than we might expect. Thank you for checking this out. I'm Rich Lund. Hope your season is sprouting up well. See you next time.